Okay, so I'm back with Ashley. I'm gonna watch her with the tonic. Now you can see the texture, the movement, and as we said, we're gonna drop this to the lid and it's there. Now you can see the first section was on the lips. Now the second section is to her jawline. Now I'm gonna shake it and see the shape to it. Now you, you can see the shape. And I'm gonna sweep her bang to the side. Let me see what style she can create of her own. So this is her bangs. She can sweep to the left to right or right to left. Let me see left to right wow this is looking amazing look at the shape so this is a nice subsection airhead very clean so what i'm going to do i'm going to pull it up and carve into it So you can see the head shape now. She's looking beautiful. Okay, so we're ready to get Ashton style. And um, we're going to demonstrate um, the round brush set style for you. And then we're going to take her off camera. So first thing is I want to, actually for each section that I take with this blow dry set, is I want to spray each section down with the styling lotion. That way each section is coated and each section is gonna have the product distributed evenly through the hair. And the key to this round brush set is having the, the, the hair and the brush and the blow dryer all in sync. And I'm gonna demonstrate that. You wanna make sure that you're over directing the blow dryer with the hair. To give some volume. To get it volume, to get a nice, lift from the head. Okay, when we come back, you're going to see Ashton with her final look. So we are back with Ashton and we are ready to unveil her final look. And you guys are really excited. Ready? Wow. Here she is. Sanjay, you want to talk a little bit about how we achieved this look? Yes, uh, we did some uh, styling part. We did the structure of the haircut. We used uh, styling lotion, we used um, grooming cream, and then finishing product, we used hair powder and shine. Weren't those looks great? Go online and check them out and tell them Archna sent you. We'll be right back. It's all here at Silver Legacy. Hey, let yourself go, get yourself free, having the time of your life. Tower rooms midweek starting at just $49.99 per night. Coming soon, American Idol winner Carrie Underwood, June 18th, and Sinbad, July 22nd. Have you ever wanted to leave the city without going too far? Well, check out Gaylord Restaurant's newest location in Sausalito, California, combining the most exotic spices with the most beautiful backdrop. Let's talk to the owner, Kishore.
Hi, we're here at the beautiful Gaylord restaurant where people don't come just for the food, but for the view of the San Francisco skyline. Hi, I'm here with Kishore Kripalani, and we're at Gaylord's restaurant in Sausalito. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, the restaurant here? Well, certainly. Uh, I've been uh, associated with the Gaylord restaurants since the inception uh, on the west coast of the United States. Uh, I opened my first restaurant in uh, 1976 in Ghirardi Square. Uh, as you know, Gaylord is an international group of restaurants, and the first one opened in New Delhi in, 19, in the late 1940s. And since then, they've expanded to different parts of the world. And I was fortunate enough to hook up with the Gaylord group and open the first uh, Gaylord restaurant on the west coast uh, in uh, Ghirardelli Square in San Francisco in 1976. And uh, why did you select Sausalito for your new location for Gaylords? Well, uh, as you know, uh, we were in San Francisco uh, in Ghirardelli Square since 1976. Uh, so that gave us 30 years in San Francisco. Uh, but we were forced to relocate because Ghirardelli Square had to do a seismic retrofit mm -hmm. and which requires them to close the building in which we were located for two years or so. So I was certainly not going to wait around for two years. I mean, you know what happens in two years, uh, customers go away you know, and find other uh, restaurants. True. So I was looking around for a while in San Francisco because that's such a great city for restaurants. Mm -hmm. Uh, couldn't find a location that sort of would serve the purposes of our cuisine. Right. So I was fortunate enough to find this location here in Sausalito, which is right on the water, yes. as you can tell. Yes. You can hear the waves out there, uh, you know, on the beach downstairs. And so uh, it's turned out very nicely for us. So it's close enough to San Francisco that people from San Francisco can just cross the bridge and they're right there at a restaurant. And we also have access to a large uh, affluent uh, market in, the, in Marin County. Uh -huh. So uh, overall, I think it's going to work out really nicely for us. Definitely, I agree. Now, um, you also have other locations, like in um, you were saying in Las Vegas, there's a brand new one that opened. That's correct. Yeah, I, uh, <coughs> uh, since I opened in 1976, I've, uh, and we were pretty successful and of course Gaylord already had a great name and yes. we've added to that fame for Gaylords uh, and so uh, it was easy for us to expand into other markets in the Bay Area and outside. Uh, I opened a place downtown San Francisco and Palo Alto and Menlo Park and then in Beverly Hills and uh, following that we opened uh, in 2002 in, uh, at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas. And then of course uh, late last year we relocated to this space over here and uh, two months ago I opened a restaurant in uh, uh, Sacramento. So we are very, uh, uh, we are expanding and but maintaining high quality, uh, maintaining a strong reputation for quality and service and all those good things, you know, that uh, restaurants are, make restaurants very famous. Well, thank you so much, and we're going to take a look at some of the uh, food, and also if uh, anybody wants more information on Gaylords, what should they visit? Maybe well, we have our website, a very nice website, uh, www.gaylords, with a plural, dot com, and we have all the information about uh, our restaurants available on that website. Excellent.